to the Honorable Judges. I'm going to, today, I'm going to tell you a sad, heart aching story. Do let me know how you feel soon after the story ends. The story for today is entitled The Mingoose and the Snake. Pardon me? Say it again? Alright. The title of the story for today is The Mingoose and the Snake. Once upon a time, they lived far away with his wife, Leah and an infant baby. They thought the baby very much. One day, the farmer from an injured wild mongoose while journeying home from the fields. He told his wife that they could nurse the mongoose to health and keep it as a pet. The wife didn't like the idea because she was worried about the safety of their son, but agreed reluctantly. Soon, the mongoose discovered and played around in the house. Farmer's son loved to play with the mongoose and the farmer did watching them. <coughs> Unfortunately, the farmer's wife always keep it away from her infant son. One day, the wife left the sleeping baby with her husband and went out to fetch her groceries. She kept reminding him again and again to keep the mongoose away from the son. As the farmer put his son to sleep, he got an urgent call from fields and he left the sleeping son with the mongoose. He told the mongoose to look after the son was away. He trusted the mongoose and was sure that the child was saving him. After some time, the farmer's wife returned from the market with a big grocery basket. As she tucked into the house, she was horrified when she saw the mingo standing outside the gate with blood on his mouth and paws. Without a second thought, she yelled and to mash poor animal with a basket full of groceries. She quickly ran to the house, crying and wailing, but stunned as his son was sleeping peacefully near a dead snake. Now, the reality dawned upon him. She finally understood the real situation. The snake must have come to strike his son, but the mongoose killed the snake just to save the baby. The blood stain belonged to the snake. She rushed out immediately to check on the mongoose. Too sad to say, the poor little mongoose was dead, and the farmer's wife felt miserable. But it was hopeless to cry for spell. Dear all, there are several values that we can offer. Number one, never think, never judge a book that's covered. Number two, never take decision in a hurry. If you do, that is exactly what happened in the story. And that was regret. So, if you like the story, if you do, drop me a call. Thank you.